Many, many congratulations on grabbing that internship. I mean, I know what it takes to back once, so I get you totally. I hope you're really excited to start it soon. But for any reason, if you're kind of anxious or worried about what to expect in the internship, or if you're trying to prepare well before you start one, you have come at the right place because in this video, we are going to discuss exactly that. So hi, this is Rashmi, your virtual techie friend. So for those who are new here, I am a full-time software engineer at Google, but not long ago, I was also a summer intern. And as summer is nearing, I can see new interns joining our team and few have already joined. Looking them and seeing them go through their journeys remind me of my internship days when I was in their shoes, navigating through the project, trying to be a good intern, try to create an impression and also an impact. And uh, yeah, it was a great time. It was a very uh, nice learning experience, but it was not all roses. It was also a bumpy ride, but it was all worth it in the end because I got a PPO, thankfully. So yeah, but looking back, I feel it could have been a better experience if I knew certain things and if I was more wise enough, but never mind, you can only join the dots looking backwards. So in this video, I will be sharing some of my learnings and experiences with the hope that it helps you be in a better position as you start your journey and um, it helps you save time and tears along the way. Also, in this episode, we will be addressing the most needed but less talked about issues around internships. So without any further ado, let's begin. So this is going to be a very normal, casual, open talk, but I have segregated this into three parts. The first one is having a right mindset as we go towards the internship. This is very important because once you are clear in your mind that what you are expecting from the internship and what is being expected from you and once you mentally prepare yourself for those challenges i think it becomes easier to remain more stable and calm and do not panic when things are not going your way so the first part is setting the right mindset the second part is more about technicalities which is like what are the technical skills that you must have before or uh, before starting an internship or which are good to have skills and what should you keep in mind as you go through it so we will be discussing and touching upon those points as well the third part however is quite random it's more about my personal experience and insights into uh, the whole experience so it will be about my personal takeaways and some random gyan here and there which might help you so yeah that's all in store for this episode if this sounds exciting make sure you watch it till the end because so as the coming few months will present you with situations that you might have not handled before things like how to work in a corporate setting, how to contribute to a code base where thousands of developers are contributing, how to speak up in the meeting, how to present yourself, how to take help from a coworker, and many things like that, right? It's okay to go into this phase, you know, feeling like you don't belong. But um, as we head towards this phase, let's be mentally prepared to absorb changes, learn along the way, quickly adapt to surroundings and grow in the course. So the first thing that I would like to highlight as part of having a right mindset is the capability of dealing with unknowns. So imagine that on first day of your internship, your manager uh, walks you through your project and tells you that these are your deliverables and this is the code base. And the code base is written in languages that you don't understand, the text tags you have never worked on. and uh, the project seems so huge that it makes no sense at the point of time that how will you be able to do this in matter of few weeks and uh, you're right there what you're doing is you find yourself nodding to yes yes you understood but deep down you know that you don't know anything and it's okay to feel that way i was feeling that way with when i had my first meeting with my manager but i feel it's same for everyone and it's okay to be overwhelmed and confused and uh, <laughs> a little scared and nervous uh, looking at the scope of the project and if you don't feel that way very good you are you don't need to watch this video <laughs> so it's okay to feel overwhelmed and all of that but just have a positive mindset that this is not the end right it's okay if you don't understand or know the text stacks and the languages, but you can always learn them, right? It's okay if you don't understand the code base and there are thousands of files. 
you have your team members you have other people in the team who can help you understand the code base so for every problem there will be a solution if you have a positive outlook you will be able to find them so the second important part of having a right mindset is owning your project from the time the project is given to you no matter in what state it is it's your responsibility to define correctly what is being expected from you what this project comprises of and how will you be uh, finishing it from end to end if there are some gray areas in the project it's your responsibility to remove that ambiguity and define it clearly for yourself if you don't understand something and if there is no help that you're getting in your team it's your responsibility to reach out when i'm saying it's your responsibility it's not that other people won't help you in the team but if you own it like as if it's your work it's your project you will be more uh, eager and uh, proactive in taking actions and reaching out for help across the teams which will only help you in the end the reason why i'm saying this is because initially during my project i didn't know that i have to own my project and i was like uh, my manager will define it clearly for me and if it's still not defined it's my manager's task to do it and i was just waiting in that uh, process i wasted a lot of time so i just want you uh, to not make this mistake own your project your managers have their own tasks no one will be you know hand holding you through the project you have to go and reach out to people people who you think might help you apart from your team and then take help and make progress on your work so with this we come at the third and the last part of having a right mindset which is to clearly define your goals at the beginning of the internship what could be your goal in an internship it could be the most popular one to get a ppo or it could also be to form meaningful connections and do some networking around the company it could also be something like learning more than the scope of your project learning more about the internal tech and tools going through the documents that you won't have access to after you finish your internship right so internship is a period where, which is only for a very small time and in that period you have to do a lot of things so it's important that you set right expectations for yourself that what do you want from this internship so that in the end you don't have any regrets that are ye chhod gaya karna kaash ye kar liya hota you don't have all these regrets right so let's say one of your goal um, or expectation from yourself is to form meaningful connection that will last even after you leave from the company then for that you would set uh, regular meetings with random people around the company right i mean these are very small things but if you leave these things for the end it would never work out because end may there will always be last minute tasks that will crop up and uh, this will never you know happen the way you want them to happen so it's very important to set these expectations and goals right in start of your internship so that in the end you are happy about the whole experience that was all about having a right mindset now let's look at some of the technical skills which are good to have before you begin your internship again uh, as i said that in technology there will always be unknowns and you can never be completely prepared or well equipped for any role in technical job but having said that there are few common grounds you know that can be mastered which are present almost everywhere things like version control systems learning more about linux environment because anywhere you go there will be many developers who are working on the same project so they would be using some some kind of version control system so if you're familiar with git and github you will be comfortable with writing code and contributing to their code base right also most of the times the projects are based on linux environments so it's good to have some acquaintance with basic linux linux commands you don't have to become a master but some knowledge here is good to have again these things are not very very important and critical that you cannot learn it on the go and you have to learn it beforehand but if you have time i would highly recommend that you should spend some time learning about these things the third thing would be learning more about testing like what is testing what is unit testing integration testing for me personally i didn't know any thing about it until i was asked to write tests during my internship but uh, if you have time you should surely spend some time on it because it's a very important part of development life cycle and uh, most probably in any role if you're writing code you will have to write tests along with these technical skills there's one skill that's not very technical but important to have yes it's documentation skills 
So for any fast changing project with a multi developer environment, it's very important to document all your progress and the project proceedings at one place. So this will help other team members to understand what are the project proceedings that have already happened and where are you coming from. Okay, wait. Cool. So I've just linked a great documentation guide in the description, so do check it out. Apart from maintaining the official document for the project, I would also recommend maintaining a personal task tracker kind of document wherein you can write all the tasks for the day and what were you able to achieve to, towards the end of the day and you can then create a weekly summaries of the tasks that you did. This will help you, you know, create a proper timeline of your progress during the internship. Apart from this, you can also maintain a document as what problems did you face and how did you solve them so that in the future if the same issues crop up again, you know what exactly to do. So that was all about the technicalities of an internship. Coming to the best and my most favorite part of this episode is my personal takeaways from my internship experience. The first one has to be imposter syndrome. I mean, to be honest, when I joined, everyone around me seemed to be an overachiever. When I say seemed to be, I, do, I don't mean to say they weren't. They were, but they seemed to be an over overachiever, which they weren't. Now, when you're interested with duties that seem so daunting, you start doubting yourself. And when you start doubting yourself, you look around for validation, which makes the situation even more worse because you start comparing yourself with others. So when you see and compare, you just see the positives in others and negatives in yourself, which just does no good and it just worsens the situation. So if you find yourself in a similar situation where you are comparing yourself with others and you're surrounded with people who are smarter and better than you, then what you have to do is take inspiration from them, double down on your strengths, work harder and just prove yourself. That's all that you can do and that's what you should do. So the second most important thing that I would like to highlight is asking questions and asking more questions. So I understand it's your first job, you want to come out as a perfect intern, as someone who is independent, does not need anyone help, but that doesn't help you in the long run. I mean, now as I'm a full-time software engineer in my team and I see other interns, I feel we don't expect them to know everything, you know, beforehand. We actually expect them to ask questions because we know that they don't know stuff. But uh, back then, I, was, I wasn't like that. I used to feel that I have to be an independent intern who does not need anyone's help. But that was so dumb of me. So yeah, go ahead and ask those stupid questions because they're not as stupid as you think. So finally, the most important thing, yes, have fun. I mean, internships are truly the best learning opportunities where you get to have so much fun. Don't let the pressure of work, project and people and whatnot come into the way of you having some great cool fun. Go and sign up for the game events, show up in the fun meetings, make new friends, get outside your comfort zone and live the amazing once in a lifetime opportunity of being an intern. So that was all from my side. I hope this video was helpful and insightful and I was able to address the issues around uh, internships. I hope now you're in a better state both mentally and technically as you approach your internships. If you like this video, please go ahead and hit that like button. That will mean a world to me as I'm new at creating videos and I'm certainly not very good at it. And I really appreciate that you are watching the video till the very end. And thank you so much for everything and all the love that you guys show. With that, this video comes to an end, but I'll see you soon in another video with more lessons from life. Till then, keep learning, keep growing. Bye. Bye.